So here we are, day five. We're going to uh, Butebo, where there is uh, Agape Primary and Nursery School. We also have uh, some land that we are believing to open an orphanage in this school. We have almost 700 children and 90 orphans which are housed within the school. We also have a pig project, so we're excited that you will be able to witness what the Lord has done. God bless you. why we was coming. The Lord spoke to me and told me he was sending me back to Africa. And after praying and fasting, he placed Sister Aurora on my heart. I met her one time for the first time when I came last year. And the connection and the Spirit of God was so strong that God have now connected us. And she's our entry to Africa now. Amen. I want to encourage you with the Word of God, short word. And I want to let you know that there's a scripture in the Word of God, John 3, 16. And it said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. Amen. So you see, God allowed Jesus to leave eternity, to come and enter time, to die on a cross for the sins of you and I. And he said that every last one of us that believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. So God has a place. Amen. For us. 1 Corinthians 15:52 says in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, the dead in Christ will rise. Then who we or who alive and remain shall be caught up in the air with the Lord, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. My friends, a time is coming when the Lord is coming back to this earth to receive his people unto himself. So I want to encourage you. Don't worry about the situations that you're going through. Don't worry about heartaches. Heartbreak. Don't worry about what anyone say about you. Because there's one that loved you. That sits high and looks low and have prepared an eternal place for you. Amen. He loves me. He loves me. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves me. He loves me. I love that. You know, even even the word of God. One word from God can change you. One word from God can transform you. He's not pompous. He's not arrogant. But when he speaks the word, he speaks with power and anointing. He says, don't despise your youth. But be an example to others. Hear you young people. By your conduct. By your manners. By the way you respect your parents. You can be an example even to the adults. Love God with all your heart. With all your mind. With all your might. And love your neighbor as yourself. God, love God. 
Love your neighbor as yourself. If you love God, you will want to please Him. If you love God, you will love Him. If you love God, you will love others. You will come with the one. Whatever you are doing, there is a one. Hallelujah. But it will be in Swahili. It says, You are John Amaripo. You are John Amaripo. Say, You are John Amaripo. You are John Amaripo. You are John Amaripo. Okay, so you say, You are John Amaripo. You are John. Okay. You are John Amaripo. You are.